my girl Kiki here and today I'm going to show you how to make a healthy, very delicious fruit smoothie. So let's As you can tell I'm still in Europe. I'm in my cousin's house and I'm talking kind of quiet from the ground and sleeping so sorry about that. But, um, what you're going to need to make this fruit smoothie is you're going to need a, um, two or three fruits. doesn't matter what you're going to use. I'm going to use cherries. some peaches and one banana. Um, you're also going to need a base. You can use water or milk. I'm going to be using water. You're going to need something to thicken it up. I'm using vanilla ice cream. And you're also going to need something to make it a little more sweet. And I'm going to be using vanilla flavored sugar. You can also use regular sugar. Um, one of the two would be the best. So why don't we get started with cutting the fruit and putting in that little blender thing. So, yeah. So, I'm going to show you how to cut up fruit and... Okay, so I already cut up my, um, all of my little cherries and everything, but I'm still going to show you how to cut them up. So, when you have your cherry, all you're going to do is rip this stem off first, and you're just going to throw that out, or if you save them, whatever, then just do whatever you want with that. Next, you're going to take the cherry, and you're going to take a regular dinner knife, Sorry, it looks like blood, but just cherry juice. And you're gonna slide the knife all the way around. So I'll be right back to show you how to do that. I'm just gonna cut it even through the stem hole. So it should look like this. And you're gonna rip it apart. Okay, sorry, I had to stop the video so suddenly, but um, there was cherry juice getting all the time up and everything. So I just had to clean that up with the paper. Anyways, um, so once you have your cherry that's already slid open, all you're going to do is rip it apart and you're going to see something like this. One um, half without the cherry seed and one with right there. And next you're going to stick your finger on the side and pull out the cherry seed. And you can just set that aside because you're not going to be using the seeds. You can either plant it, throw it away, do whatever you want with it. And then you just got the two um, halves. You can just set that aside because we're going to be using that. So now that um, I have cut all my cherries in half and taken all um, the seeds out, I am actually going to show you what they look like. Um, I actually use most. I mostly use my hands. I'm just gonna wash my hands. But I actually mostly use my hands. I didn't really use a knife that much. Um, so it might look a little bit messy, but it's not that bad. I mean, three dogs, sorry. But um, cherries give out juice when you cut them in half or you just run away with them. So just ignore that. So, I'll show you. This is what it looks like. Right here I have the cherry seeds, then I have the cherry stems, um, and all the cherry halves, and you can see the juice all over. It looks kind of like blood, but yeah. So, right now, I'm just gonna set that um, into the blender, and I will, I will show you how to do that because you want to put it in very carefully, and I'll show you how to. Okay, so um, I'm using a big, big blender. Sorry about the dogs barking. I can't really quiet them down. But, um, yeah, so this is Leo, Leon. They just went to the, um, to get their little haircut, so he looks really tiny, but, yeah, there you go. Anyways, um, getting back to the food and smoothies and everything. And also, um, I'm using a pretty big blender, so I would recommend either um, using the fruits and everything if you have a big blender, and if you have a small blender, just minimize the amount that you use. So what you're going to do is take the plate that you have, you're going to take the knife that you're using and carefully drop the cherries into the blender. And make sure to spread them out so they're all over um, the blade, they're not all just standing in, all staying in one place. And if you want, you can include the juice, which I do, to make it a little more sweet, but you don't have to. Make sure not to um, get the...
cherry seeds in there. Or you're gonna have to actually push them out. Okay, now that I've got that, I'm gonna put this aside and um, get started with cutting the next fruit, which is gonna be a peach. And since I don't have any bananas, I don't know if I mentioned that before or not, but I don't have any bananas, so I'm gonna use um, a yellow plum. So um, now that I've spread around some of the cherries, you can see what it looks like. And now I'm going to show you how to cut a peach and um, a little yellow plum. And then we can get started with everything else. And yeah, so okay, now that, as you can see, you set those cherries into that blender. Um, we're going to start. We're going to start cutting the little yellow um, plum. First I'm just going to wash this off. And then I'm going to set it on my plate so I can cut it. Or you can use a cutting board. I'd rather use a plate just not to make much of a mess. You're going to take, um, you want to use one of the, your better knives when you're using a plum. Um, I am using probably one of the sharpest knives I have in this house. And then you're just gonna cut the plum exactly like you did a cherry. All the way around, as you can see. And then you're gonna rip it open. You may get some juice flowing out. But, you know, they always release juice. And then it was really hard to rip this one open. So it's what it looks like when this hat doesn't have any seeds. Well, a seed, of course. And then the other half does, so I'm just going to rip that seed out. And since it's covered with um, plum, I'm going to rip the plum off so I can use that. And I'm going to throw the seed out, but you can do with it whatever you want. I'm just going to wash my hands up. And don't ever forget to wash the fruit that you use um, before you actually cut it and put it in a blender or whatever you're going to do with it. Always wash it just in case and you don't want to, like bacteria or germs or anything enter your body because they already are a lot. Now I'm going to cut um, a little peach and you're going to cut it once again the same as did the cherry and the plum. And if you are using a banana like I was supposed to, I would recommend not using a fresh banana. I would recommend using one that's pretty much like brown and it's kind of mushy. And if you open it up and it's brown on the inside and has like dots and everything, brown dots and yeah, then don't cut out the brown. Keep it and it makes a really, really good smoothie. So... I cut, I ripped it in half, like I did the other fruits. This is the half that doesn't have any seeds, and right here you can see the seed. So I'm gonna rip that seed out, and then you can cut um, the rest of the peach into four smaller pieces. So each half that you have should you should be cut into. As you can see, I got the peach um, seed out. So I'm just going to put that Wash my hands off, dry them, and then cut the peaches. If they're kind of mushy, it's okay. I prefer mushy um, peaches because they're just easier to blend and they don't have so much to chew. This is what my peach and plum look like. Sorry about that. So now that I got all that fruit cut up and mushed, um, I'm just going to set that in the blender. So I'll show you how to do that. With the um, peach and the plum, you are also going to set it carefully into the blender like I did with the cherries. Once again, you just want to make sure it's all spread out so you can mix all over, the, all over the smoothie and not just be in one cup. You want to have it in all the cups that um, are provided. 
So I'm just going to actually go to the hand and I'm going to, you know, use a knife. Because with a knife, you're more likely to get juice all over the counter and everything. And I actually prefer the juice being in the smoothie. And so you might think it's gross, but of course you have to hand, like use hand sanitizer and wash your hands and dry them and everything before you actually, at least I'm not going to put dirty hands in a fruit smoothie thing. And then you just mix it around to get it to look like that. And now I'm going to show you what else you need to do um, to make your wonderful fruit smoothie. So, I'll see you in a second. Okay, now to um, make a wonderful fruit smoothie, you're going to... Um, keep your fruit in the blender, but um, you're going to add about a popsicle of vanilla ice cream. I, you, I like to use half a popsicle instead of a full popsicle. It's just um, a little less thick because to me a full popsicle is just too thick, so I use half, but you can do what you like. And if you do use half, you can use the other, other half too. <laughs> Make a ser second serving. Second time you make it. So I actually made a first serving yesterday, and I left the other half so I can make another one today. So just gonna mix it around a little bit. Have it melt. So that's what it looks like. And I'll be back to show you. Okay, so now I'm just gonna add a teaspoon of sugar. You can use either regular sugar or vanilla flavored sugar um, into the blender. I usually add in um, two teaspoons or a teaspoon and a half, but if you want something a little bit less sweet, you can just add one teaspoon in. I added a teaspoon and a half right now, and this is what it looks like. And now, since um, I would completely recommend using milk, but I don't have any milk, I'm only going to have some at 6 o'clock tonight, so use that later, but um, you can use either milk or water, and um, what you do is just pour, I don't exactly have a perfect measurement of how much water, so I'm just going to say about three-fourths a liter. Maybe a little bit less, between a half and three-fourths of a liter. Now, I usually have um, all the ingredients like up to here, but I'm just making a little bit because I'm me, only me and my cousin are home, so just for the two of us. So now um, I'm just going to put the cover in and I'll blend it. So I'll, see, I'll show you what it looks like right after I blend it and just a second. Okay, so now that I've blended um, my smoothie together. Um, it achieved somewhat like a reddish purple um, look, but it's still not thick enough, so I'm going to add um, another half of a popsicle and I'm going to blend it again, and I'll show you how that looks in just a second. Okay, now that I've blended it all together, it's a little bit more thick and creamy, but um, what we're going to do now is take a cup of your choice, I'm going to take this plastic one, and I'm going to be using a soup spoon. Um, a miniature version of a soup spoon to pour. So you're just gonna pour your drink smoothie thing um, into the cup as much as you please. And then if you'd like, if you're serving it to someone special, um, you can take a little towel and wipe around the edges and just take a sip and try it. And I'm telling you that's really good. So I hope you guys like this recipe. And make sure to leave a comment below. And if you want to do anything else in the kitchen, any recipes or anything that you like, just give me a shout in the comments and I'll get a video back to you as soon as I can. So, enjoy. Bye.